Uh, Bridget asks, hey, Merritt, I'm just beginning in this field. Would like to ask about your composite structures. Do you use CVAs based on just the RTH or do you use a 24-hour period? Thanks kindly. Uh, I almost exclusively use pit session, that is RTH, um, hours. I that One of the downsides of market profile over let's say volume profile, for example, is the fact that let's say that this is, you know, here's the 9.30 a.m. open. Here is the 4 p.m. close, right? And here's like pre-market leading up to it, obviously. And here's after hours leading up until the next 9.30 open. Okay, so this is the pit session. And the market, you know, it, it dips and rallies up and then puts in a little high and then balances or something, right? So we're going to have a profile that looks something like this. Let's say that the overnight session in whatever market it is, is entirely dead. There's barely any trade activity. And from, this, from the, the, the close, let's say that it somehow drifts lower and then just does like it's barely moving and does something like this all night until we're ready to trade the next day. Okay. Doesn't matter if we're talking profiles or merging profiles to create CVAs. Doesn't matter. It's the same conversation. If we look at this massive multi, multi hour, multi TPO period, right? Balance, it's probably going to be bigger than this one was. Okay, here's balance A, here's balance B. Which one of these balances is more important to the overall market and more participants? Who knows? A, correct. The pit session, because all the activity, all the other people who are invested in what happens next, placing their bets, making trades, managing risk, most of that happens in this situation that I described here in the pit session. So I only care about those for my analysis. Now, what about a market like crypto or some currencies like the euro? Um, those trade a little more evenly around the clock, especially from, let's say, you know, 2 a.m. Eastern time up until, let's say, 11 a.m. Eastern time, right? Kind of from like European open area all the way through like lunchtime and whatnot. So, and, and, and maybe even a little bit beyond into the U.S. session some days. So just take a look at a basic volume indicator and see if there's a big grouping, you know, like where there's no volume and then there's a bunch of volume for a session and then there's no volume. I tend to use that session where there is activity. One of the downsides, like I said, of market profile is that it doesn't matter if it's meaningful activity. It's just marking time because time is a component of these profiles. Uh, so you want to be careful around using those where they're not significant. That's my advice. Um, you know, it's okay to keep up with, let's say, a, a pit session profile and an overnight profile. Just know which of those are more important. You can definitely use both. The market definitely respects both. But you can, uh, because think about it, this is important for the, when, as soon as we enter the open, like these are times where I'll highlight, okay, guys, overnight balance, keep track of it, because we might get a break from it up or below. If we don't leave that area, well, guess what? Nothing exciting is happening. So they can still be used. Just understand a hierarchy of importance. Understand your market and where the volume occurs and where the session times are most substantial.